Hey there, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Maria and today I'm going to help you improve your vocabulary in a very short amount of time. The goal of today's video is to help you see if you are speaking textbook English and if so, I will give you some better alternative use in everyday real English conversations. Before we get on with the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on new lessons from me. Now, let's go! We'll be looking at 10 phrases that will help you advance your English and sound more natural in your speech. Now, let's get started with the first one. Let's meet today. Let's catch up today. Let's catch up today. We use this phrase to talk to someone who we have not seen for some time. Hey, what are you doing later? Let's catch up today. Wanna catch up? I am tired. Let's finish working for today. I am tired. Let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. We use this phrase when we quit work and go home or when we want to say that a day's work has been completed. It's past five o'clock, so let's call it a day. Okay, let's call it a day. I am very happy. I am over the moon. I am over the moon. Now, to be over the moon is an idiomatic expression for saying Someone is feeling extremely happy and delighted. They're going on vacation tomorrow and they are over the moon. Oh, I'm over the moon. Over the moon for you. He might be lying, but we have to trust him for now. He might be lying, but we have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, if you give someone the benefit of the doubt, you treat them as if they are telling the truth, even if you don't believe them, even if you think they're lying. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt because I'm, oh, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I visit my hometown very rarely. I visit my hometown once in a blue moon. Now, once in a blue moon is an idiom expressing something that is happening very rarely, almost never. Do you ever eat pork? Hmm, only once in a blue moon. I prefer beef. Now, what is something that you do once in a blue moon? Tell me in the comments. I'll go first. I used to watch movies every night, but now I do it once in a blue moon. Just once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Can you guys help me with my homework? Can you guys pitch in with my homework? Pitch in with my homework. Now, to pitch in means to join in and help someone with something. Glad you could pitch in. We all pitch in. I am scared to do this. I have cold feet cold feet. To have cold feet means to experience anxiety right before you attempt to do something. For example, I was going to try bungee jumping, but I got cold feet. She got cold feet. Real cold. He got cold feet. I have the ideal situation, a wonderful family and a great job. I have the best of both worlds, a wonderful family and a great job. If you say that someone has the best of both worlds, you mean that they have only the benefits of two things and none of the disadvantages. It's the best of both worlds. Best of both worlds? I like that. <laughs> I am going to get married tomorrow. I am going to tie the knot tomorrow. Now, to tie the knot means to get married and have a marriage ceremony. Who is supposed to tie a knot? Why are you going to tie the knot? Basketball is not so difficult. Basketball is not rocket science. Rocket science. Now, 
something that is not rocket science means that you don't think that something is very difficult to do or to understand. It's not rocket science. Absolutely, it's not rocket science. So there you have it. What did you guys think of this video? Let me know your opinion in the comments. If you found it helpful and valuable, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on new videos from me. Until the next video, I wish you a beautiful, wonderful day. Stay zen and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.